Good morning from the US-Mexico border or as close as we could sleep to the border. We're on reservation land outside of, probably not saying this right, Los Algodones uh, border crossing. It is just after 7 a.m. and we are gonna cross with Tom, the Lost Box, and I'm really excited. After everything we've been through, we're finally getting to Mexico. But I mean, it is better. It's still run, so I guess I'm gonna stop there in advance. And then we'll wait for the light up here. We made our way through Los Algodones, making sure to stop at every stop sign and to follow all the posted speed limits because we knew that we stuck out and that the police would be watching for us to make any mistakes. Once we were out of town, the ride was pretty boring for at least the next several hours. We drove 222 miles on day one and camped at a pretty underwhelming spot about five miles south of Portocitos. The next day, the scenery on our drive got considerably better and we were finally treated to some of Baja's infamous road detours. After driving about 150 miles on day two, we finally made it to what is commonly referred to as the Bay of LA. Good morning, guys. It is moving day. Somewhat bittersweet because we've been in Baha'i de Los Angeles, I think that's how you say it, for three nights. And we've just been waiting for the wind to die down so that we can kayak and paddleboard in this beautiful bay and it's not happening. The wind is terrible. So we're going to head out back to town. Hopefully they have diesel because they didn't have diesel when we came in, but they're supposed to have it in a few days because we really want to do this off-road route that'll take us by an old mission and just kind of get off the pavement and do exactly what we had in mind when we came to Baja, which is a bunch of off-road driving. But we can't do that without diesel. So we'll see. I'm gonna go brave outside to show you how windy it is. We actually blew up our kayak the first day, hoping the wind would go down, and now we have to pack it up in this crazy wind. So let me show you. All right, so there's two gas stations, like practically right next to each other in this tiny town. This one did not have diesel. Since we're passing it, we're just gonna go ahead and check and then head to the, if they don't have it, head to the second station. They do not have it here. All right, let's check the next one. Is there anyone here? No luck. This one's just closed completely? No, they're open, but they have the diesel pumps blocked and they took the price off the sign. 
Greg's gonna ask them just, you know, if they're getting it today or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the truck and go pee real quick. I'm not feeling very confident that this is the place that told us they were gonna have it like yesterday. So this is life in Mexico. We'll see. Well, from my broken Spanish, I understood that uh, he has diesel in two days at the <laughs> Yeah, okay. So they're never gonna have diesel basically. Our collective sadness. So, two <laughs> diesel. At the soonest, two days. I don't understand how those days work, but <laughs> this is three days, now it's two days. Mexico, Mexico days. time. Yeah. Mexico's days. So I guess we are going back uh, to the main road and... That's my vote. I mean, I know it's the smart vote. Yeah. I'm super bummed though. There will be yeah. other places to explore. I do think that going on the main road is probably the smartest. Choice. The safest choice. Yeah, I think so. I think we should do it. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. All right. So we just head there now? I guess so. I don't really think we should even go in town because if we come down to, you know, ah, oh, I ran out three miles before the gas station. Oh, that would suck. Yeah. yeah. I guess we're just going in. Yeah. We'll have a hefty tailwind pushing us in there. So, and I, I should make it easily. How about you guys? I would think we can make it. I mean, I would think too. I mean, worst case, we have our furnace. fuel from our furnace that we can use. All right. right, so we're gonna go get gas, and I guess we'll, yeah. Jesus Maria. Yay. Yay. It's too bad because we came all the way down here. I wanted to I, that see was... it and play and explore more, but yeah, yeah. I mean that's life. Yeah. yeah. We gotta make adjust on the fly. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right. There's where we had lunch. And there's where we got gas. All right, so we have food in our bellies and diesel in our tank. And yeah, now we're gonna go hunt out some sea lions and whales. And yeah, I think that's probably it for today. When a road starts to get sandy or rough, we typically get out of the truck and walk it to make sure we can get up the track that we're looking at and sometimes we reverse and go another direction, like we did in this case. You did it! <laughs> all right, so this is one of two possible campsites tonight. We have it all to ourselves, well, us and Tom. There is a abandoned lighthouse. There's these covered areas. And the best part, there is our own private beach. And there's a trail to get down there. Check it out. Pretty awesome. This is exactly what I imagined when I thought about Baja. So we're gonna check out the second one, but this is a really, really good contender. Spot number two which is just above this arch that is supposed to have a bunch of sea lions, which is the main reason we wanted to come here for sea lions and whale watching. But I don't know, this, uh, this track going back up might be a problem. So we'll see. If we park at the first one, we can always hike over here to observe the sea lions and the whales. Let's see what the guys think. All right, so we're not staying at spot number two because Getting back up out of here is a little bit questionable. So now we're gonna turn around. Greg's gonna wait on the hard pack sand while Tom maneuvers out so that if he were to get stuck, we can pull him out and then we'll swap so that if we get stuck, Tom can pull us out. It is super nice to be doing this with someone else since uh, this is all still kind of new to us. This is a good uh, good head-to-head -head comparison on the tires that we were gonna get, which are like Tom's, 
or our tires, which we still have the little dualies. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh wait, now I have to run because they're gonna leave me. Ah! Wait for me! Once we made it back to our campsite, we spent the next several days exploring and enjoying the area. Mm -hmm.